The breaking news uh, this morning, Boeing has pushed out its chief executive, Dennis Muhlenberg. In an announcement, the firm said David Calhoun, the chairman, is to replace Muhlenberg. Claire Sebastian is in New York. Uh, this is very strange timing. I mean, most of us believed Muhlenberg would not survive much longer. But to get rid of him or to announce this the day before Christmas or the you know, Christmas Eve... I mean, what are they hoping? We're all going to ignore it. Yeah, Richard, uh, certainly interesting, and especially given the events of the past few weeks, Boeing taking that uh, almost unprecedented decision to stop production of the 737 MAX uh, sometime in January uh, indefinitely. But uh, look, uh, Muhlenberg, he has faced the wrath of congressmen. There were reports last week that he uh, was, you know, had a dressing down by the FAA. I think uh, the sense that you get certainly from this press release is that he was now so tainted by this scandal that they would struggle to move on with him in the job. I want to read you a portion of it. They said... Uh, that this change in leadership was necessary to restore confidence in the company moving forward as it works to repair relationships with regulators, customers and all other stakeholders. Now, Boeing stock, uh, as you said, has been halted pending news. It is uh, just still fractionally up on the year despite its losses since this crisis began, but it may well uh, get set to, to, to lose that gain uh, when it opens today, Richard. Or the opposite. It may rally sharply now Mullenberg has gone because he was perceived to be part of the problem. This all happened on his watch. And, of course, they changed head of Boeing commercial. Uh, Kevin uh, came in uh, and all of this. But, but, the, but the reality is it's still a strange time to do it. Uh, it does have a feeling of... Uh, to use that horrible phrase, bury, this is a good day to bury bad news. They certainly might face criticism uh, for that, Richard. And, and, you know, they could have done this in the weeks leading up to this. They could have done it before they uh, they announced that that uh, suspension of production uh, of the 737 MAX. Don't forget, uh, in the last week as well, they also had that, that botched uh, Starliner mission that failed to make it uh, to the ISS, although it did land uh, safely over the weekend. Uh, but look, it's been a, a really rough time for this company. This is, uh, in, in the views of many people, the biggest crisis uh, in its more than 100-year history. The 737 MAX was its best selling plane, the costs amounting for Boeing already topping $9 billion, Richard. And this is set to spill over into the broader econ economy as the results uh, of that stoppage in production trickles through. There's thousands and thousands uh, of suppliers right. who are going to be affected by this. So uh, the ripple I... effects of this crisis will continue regardless of who is in the top job at Boeing. Uh, yeah, but I suppose the argument will be it looks like they've got, they might look like they've got their, they're not tainted by the past and they've got their hands around the neck of the thing. One other thing, there's the Boeing Starliner. Now, this space, I mean, it failed to get into the right orbit because somebody put the wrong digits in, uh, into the clock. Now, apparently, it has landed safely uh, in the desert, but I mean, I suppose this is just a sort of a black eye rather than a, a, a body blow. Well, I mean, I think the optics of this, given everything else, Richard, were were really unfortunate. And and look, it's the 737 MAX, as I said, the biggest crisis Boeing is facing. But but uh, over the last few months, they've also had to slow production uh, of the 787 MAX because of falling demand uh, from China. The company is facing problems really on, on a number of different fronts. So I think uh, in order to, to, to move past all of this, to put the, the, the sort of the dark days of 2019 behind them, uh, they did feel that, that a leadership change was necessary. But I think there are questions as well as to how much uh, of a new new face this is. Uh, David Calhoun has been uh, on the board since 2009, so he is something uh, of an insider. He, his history, he was at Nielsen Holdings. Uh, he spent 26 years at GE, which is a supplier uh, of Boeing. So, you know, he is someone in the industry. So it'll be interesting to see how, how new this really is.